Hello, beautiful viewers. Welcome to my channel. This is Nikki Beauty Empire. My name is Blessing Daniel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how I install this boho braid. It's a full lace, not less braided wig. So, as you watch, you will see how I installed the full lace. I started by brushing my hair backwards yes I'm doing this because you can see I'm on low cut but if your hair is long you have to brush your hair backwards then next thing is to put on this wig cap yes it's not also compulsory it's optional but mostly those that their hair is long you put on the wig cap then I have to put on the wig as well and position it the way I want it to be. This is the center pattern of the wig. So I'm trying to position it well. Then for me to go ahead with the process, I have to use this clip to pack the hair to be away from my face so that I'll be able to do the installation proper. So I'm trying to push the hair out of the face to enable me position the wig very well the way it's supposed to be for me to apply the glue on the hairline. I also consider the size of the lace. You make sure that it's not on top of your ear. The lace is supposed to be inside so that the ear will be on top of it. Let the lace not be on top of your ear. This will only help it to lap very well, okay? For the installation, I'm going to use got to be glue to do my installation. And here is my melting band. This melting band is really bold, but that is what I'll use here first. At the end, you'll see what I also did to achieve the final look. I'm applying the got to be spray now, following the hairlines. At first, I did not put much, but you really have to put enough so that the glue will help to lap the hair very well. Follow the hairlines very well based on how you want to position it to fit your face. I beg, no mind my face here. Oh. You see how my... <laughs> I'm just trying to protect my eye. I beg, oh. I why they use count money. Let's want to not enter inside. After applying the glue, I now use the melting band to tie around the head to keep it lap well. I'll have to wait for about 10 minutes before removing this band so that it will lap well. But in some cases, if you have any fan around you or your blow drying machine or hand dryer, you can use it to apply little heat, not very high heat on it so that it will just dry faster for you but when you don't have any of these machines around you you can just leave it wait for about 10 minutes you now remove the band so i've taken off the band as you can see and the hair has really glued you can see how it has glued to my skin so right now i can style this hair pack it anyhow pack it up and it will not pull out that is the reason for the installation then after that, you can style the baby hair at the front to your taste. Style it anyhow you want to make your face look more beautiful. I'm using gel to do this, so you can make use of any gel of your choice or age control. Then after that, you use a darker shade of powder to apply on the hairlines. That is if you did not tint your lace very well or the, the color is still looking brighter. You use a darker shade of powder, use your beauty blender or brush to apply on any area that the color is bright to give you that skin color and look natural so that everyone will not know that you're putting on wig. If you are able to achieve that, you are good to go. Your wig is set. You you can at this point style it or pack it any how you want. For me, I want to pack it up. You can see how beautiful the center pattern is looking. But I want to pack it up and pour the remaining. So that is what I'm doing here. 
I will make use of my rope. I customize a rope. You can see it to use and secure the hair so that it will not pour as I am trying to keep it up. But something happened and I'm going to make the correction here in this tutorial. So you have to watch the end to see how I was able to get this hair well installed. The melting band I used was bold. First it was on top of my ear. After tying it, I brought my ear out. But it affected the hair. It did not lap well at the ear side. So that's why I am trying to apply glue again at the ear sides. This time around, I'm making use of a smaller melting band or elastic band so that it will just go directly under the ear and on top of the hair to lap the lace to be very very well secured so that if i pack the hair up it will not pull out this aspect also is going to take me another 10 minutes before i have to remove it but as i waited i had to do my makeup while waiting for the glue to dry and install very well so here i've removed it trying to style the baby hair again to look gorgeous to give me that african queen's look so you can style it anyhow you like that will fit you make use of any gel of your choice make use of your age control or anything you can use to style the age okay or the baby hair then after that i'm removing the hair clips to free the hair, make sure that it's giving what it's supposed to give. You can see how beautiful this boho braid is looking. It's a not less, full less braided wig. So this is how I was able to do the installation. But the lace, I did not give it perfect tinting. Okay. So after this, I will have to use a darker shade of powder. You can. Make Make use of your foundation or your powder, but darker shade. Use a darker shade and apply on the lines. The places that there is no hair, you apply it so it will give you that skin look, okay? If you don't do it, the less wig will be white and anyone that sees you, we know that you are putting on a wig. But to give it that realistic look, making use of a darker shade of powder or a darker shade of foundation, and run it on top of the lace the edge the front side the lines of the braid will make it give you that classic look and again i installed only the front because i want to style the front side alone but if you want to install the whole lace is a full lace wig if you want to style the full lace what we did at the front you repeat the same process at the back if you want to style a full lace like you want to give it that shuku look or ponytail look as you are done styling the front installing the front you pack the hair up and do the same thing at the back you will pack the hair all up apply glue at the back use a, a, a melting band to tie it down then do the whole process so that it will lap it will enable you to pack the whole hair up if you want to pack it okay if it's a boss braid that you are installing the lines of the braid that is all this natural lines showing you also make sure you use your concealer brush to apply your foundation or a darker shade of powder like i mentioned earlier on the lines that is if you did not tint it very well earlier before you apply you can also before you wear your cap use your foundation that you will need and rub it all over the cap first from inside of the lace not where the braids are apply it very well to give it that brownish look so that when you apply or wear your cap it will give you that cap look as if it's your own hair that is braided so that everyone must not know it doesn't look mature like when you wear a wig everybody will know you are putting on a wig so all this process will just give it that realistic look okay thanks for watching